Hello guys, today I want to be showing you the redstone furnace from Thermal Expansion. Now, it's basically the same as a vanilla furnace, except that it uses redstone flux. So as you can see here in the interface, we've got power, um, input, output, some informational slots here, which I can't read, so that doesn't matter. Um, power tab, redstone tab, configuration. This is really, really cool for all the mods. I'm just quickly going to show you it functions pretty much the same as any furnace does so it's not really a much of a problem for some stuff it uses more well like however you can click here on the middle to see the average power usage and all the items that you can actually cook in it if I make a quick calculation there's 432 or something so that's great as you can see here as well, it's fully automated. You can pump it in with redstone things, pump it out with either Boltcraft or Thermal Expansion's own type of pipe. And I just configured it right here to do as I want. And this has been running for quite a while. That would that not come out of a machine that was from previous tutorial where things were still stuck in the pipe. It doesn't make it doesn't create any like extra byproducts it's just what you put in there is what you get out so that is the redstone furnace also something that i might as well means mention uh, it used to be called i uh, um what was it called again i'll be right back guys i'll just i remembered but now i just can't remember <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back. Sorry about the tiny little pause. It is called a powered furnace. And it did pretty much the same. The name just changed a bit. Not sure why, but it did. Okay, so that's it for the redstone furnace. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys. Well, I hope you found this tutorial informational as well as fun to watch. See you guys in the next video.